Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews and welcome to Single Card Spotlight. And in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about one card that I think is of note. And the card I want to talk about today is I want to talk about Jin Chihuahua. Now Jin Chihuahua is in the current batch of reward cards. And so if we take a look at... Where is it at? I keep losing that, that tab. All right, so if we take a look at the print run for Jin Chihuahua, currently there's 82,000 printed, and that's 10% of the print run. So we're looking at 800,000 Jin Chihuahuas getting printed. Now, this is a decent number, and if you're... If you're just, if you're playing, I mean, like, you have a not insignificant chance of probably getting one in a reward chest eventually. But depending upon what you're doing, you might want to think about picking one up just, you know, to have one. And the reason I suggest this is because the Jin Chihuahua is kind of a one-creature army. And here's what I mean by that. If you look at if you look at its stats, it has five armor, nine health, two attack, and for eight mana, which is a decent amount of ability to suck up punishment. The other thing though is it has thorns, and the thorns ability, it says uh, when hit with a melee attack does damage back to the attacker, and so whenever a creature hits the gin, the gin, it's going to take two damage from thorns, and the the djinn can do a pretty amazing job of just standing there being being your main tank and also being in, in the dragon splinter depending upon the 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 conditions for the match and that kind of thing the djinn you you could use the djinn with one of your other splinters that has some decent support for it so I mean, it's one of those things like it's a it's a current reward card, so I suspect they're going to be relatively inexpensive to pick up for a while. But it's just one of those things like you might want to keep it on your radar, and because if you look at it, if you look at it stats wise, so an epic creature, a for for a maxed out bronze team, you can play a second level, and so that's. Three power, which is pretty good. And again, like, it might be... Mm, that's tough. I'm, I'm kind of torn about if it's worth playing a leveled up one in bronze. Uh, maybe. If, it's one of those, like, if you have one, I'd probably play it. But if you didn't have if, if you didn't have one, I don't know if I would necessarily work that hard to level it up. But for silver... For silver, for maxed out silver, you can play a level three one. And that gives you an extra health and an extra armor, which are both pretty good. So, I mean, I think it's a, I think the thing about Jin Chihuahua is it's one of those things like it's a very solid tank card. And it's one of those things like I don't, I don't think you're going to feel sad if you have access to it in your, in your rep repertoire of cards you can play. Like if you end up with a, if you end up with kind of a, like a bad match where you, the shards aren't ideal for what you want, but you have a dragon as an option, then you know you can, you can sort of use the gin to, to pick up the slack and maybe get you through a battle that might end up being bad normally. Anyway, if you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know down in the comments, and I'll include links down there for the various. Uh, dis uh, card distribution information I used. Also, if you agree or disagree, you can let me know in the comments or if there's any cards you think that I should talk about or that go particularly well with the gin. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope you all have an excellent day.